Adobe's AI tool Firefly has turned out to be great for quickly creating text effects that would otherwise take considerable work in Photoshop. In my previous video I gave an example of a realistic neon sign that could be made in seconds. Oozing slime is another cool text effect that can be generated with ease. Follow along with this tutorial to see how it's done, with a bonus tip that helps to fix the common problem of Firefly not isolating your text on a plain background. But first we need a composition, previously known as a structure, to base the AI generated effect on. Six years ago I made a tutorial showing how to create a slime text effect by modifying a font with hand drawn drip shapes. Let's go back in time and recreate this custom type in Adobe Illustrator. So open up Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. Begin by typing out your wording using a bold cursive font with nice fat curves. I'm using a premium typeface named number 7. This particular font has lots of alternate characters that can be used to completely customise the appearance. I liked one of the stylistic S glyphs but flipped the other way up. To do this the text element has to be outlined, then ungrouped to break the letters apart in order to manipulate the size, rotation and position of that one character. Once you have your text in place go to Object Envelope Distort and Make with Warp. Choose Arc at 15% to give it a subtle bend, then rotate it slightly. Go to Object and Expand to permanently apply this Envelope Distort effect. Now we're ready to customise the type with GUI Drips. Double click the Pencil tool to edit its settings. Max out the Fidelity slider to Smooth, then make sure Fill New Pencil Strokes is checked along with Keep Selected and Edit Selected Paths. Zoom right into the first letter and draw the outline of a drip. The process is a little easier with a pen tablet, but the smoothing of the pencil tool corrects any mistakes you might make. Since we have the Keep Selected and Edit Selected Path settings checked, you can redraw over any outlines that don't look right to try again. If you find the pencil tool is a bit awkward, here's a couple of other techniques you might want to try. First one is the pen tool, so rather than freehand draw the outline, you click and drag the bezier handles to create those smooth curves. Alternatively, you could just roughly draw the outline using straight lines and corners, then go to Effects, Stylize and Round Corners. Bump up the radius until those angles are converted to smooth lines. Whichever method you choose, draw a variety of drip lengths and shapes all over the letters. In some areas, you can even add gooey stringy bits between two parts of the letter shape. Also, try adding some double drips too, they help fill out some space. Don't worry about them flowing into the letters perfectly just yet. We'll carefully blend them next. Once you have all your drips in place, head back to the first letter and zoom in. Turn on Smart Guides from under the View menu, which will help you to snap to the existing path lines. Use the pencil to draw little shapes that smooth off any angles in the outline by adding a bezier curve to bridge the gap. The rest of the path can be really rough, it won't be visible being black on black. Once all the drips have been blended in, a few simple ellipses can be a great finishing touch to add some extra drips on the end of those droopy bits. Draw a selection across all the artwork and make a copy if you want to preserve an editable version, otherwise click the Unite button in the Pathfinder panel to merge everything into one outline. Now we have the composition for the text effect made, let's save it in a compatible format. The easiest way to do this is to transfer the artwork over to Photoshop, where we can create a 16x9, 1920x1080 document, paste in the artwork and save it as a JPEG. Navigate to Adobe Firefly in your browser and begin generating some green slime. By default the aspect ratio is set to square, so first we'll want to match the 16x9 widescreen format of the composition we'll be making use of later. The generated green slime images are all drip-like shapes, so let's try adding the word texture to the prompt. These results are more like it, you can also experiment with the visual intensity for slightly less detailed imagery. This slime looks nice and slimy, so under the corner menu choose use as style reference. Under the Composition section, choose the custom type we made earlier, or 6 years ago. Set the strength of both the composition and the style to max. 
These results have combined the text and the slime effect, but despite using max strength, it hasn't strictly adhered to the outlines of the composition text and isolated it on a plain background. This is a common problem I've come across, but I've found a bit of a solution. Download this result, then open it up in Photoshop. Paste in the original custom type and scale it to size. Quickly switch to the Channels tab and hold the Command or Control key on Windows while clicking the thumbnail of the channel to load a selection of the text. Disable the visibility of the layer, then add a new layer and fill the selection to crudely isolate the slime effect. In my original six years ago I used a pale yellow background, so I'm using that same hue here. Save this new processed slime image, then back in Firefly use it as the new style reference. The next set of results will recreate the slime effect and isolate the text on a plain background. This one is probably my best result, which has a detailed and realistic green slime effect, complete with reflections and texture, compared to my original flat vector artwork that was made in Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.